welcome to Leger here for the 2022 UCI Mountain Bike World Championships. It's the women's elite race for the cross country length here. Here we go then, we are underway, the elite women's race here at the World Championships and it looks like the Swiss are off to a great start here. Three of their riders right up at the front. Look out for Anna Terpstra, she's got the inside line on the number three plate for the Netherlands on the inside of the course here. Just looking out for any, any problems in the pack here. Everyone looking like they're getting through drama free here. Hopefully no one getting caught up in the mix. There you go. They entering now the first technical session. Uh, those rocks really separating the riders and slowing them down a lot. So already the pack just starting to uh, spread out a little bit. Two line choices here. You can either go for the more technical inside route, which is a uh, less distance, or you can go for the smoother outside line where you can put the power down if you've got it in the tank. Interesting that Ferran Prévost decided for the outside line. Huh? She, she decided to carry the speed with her. Yeah, just seeing Pauline having to put a foot down there. These routes really getting exposed now. All the dust and dirt being pushed away by all the bikes, uh, bike tracks that have gone through it so far. With so many favourites for the win here, it could literally go to any one of six riders. This is the beauty about this race. Polina, Polina already taking some water. All the riders actually on this first lap. Just coming through the tech feed zone for some of the racers. And a big gap then back to third place. Look at those fans going crazy. That is so special. <laughs> They're following the riders up the course. Look at them. That takes some shape as well. Yeah, those switchbacks, one of the few bits of respite on the legs on this course. The only chance they get to use gravity to help them down the course. Yeah. There you go, Loana Lecomte moving up one position. She just overtook Yolanda Neff. Okay. Yolanda now needs to do... She needs to keep up with that wheel, otherwise the Frenches are just going to take off. Yeah, but is Pauline Ferrand Prevost going to be able to keep this pace? Neff falling down the order. Yeah. And already over the line to complete lap number one, Pauline Ferrand Prevost. So let's see what the gap is. It's nearly up to a minute now wow. for Pauline. 56 seconds. She is wow. dominating this race. Impressive show. Yeah. And there's Keller. They're flying through that section there. She's trying to chase down Hayley Batten of the USA. And still that battle going on and on between Hayley Batten and Alessandra Keller. But Keller now ahead into the silver medal position ahead of Batten in the bronze. Probably being told that she has a one oh, minute and 20. The Italian has a mechanical problem. Oh, now. Martina Berta. Okay, so that means. Looks like a drive. It's yeah. a drivetrain problem. Yes. And Yolanda, if you're overtaking uh, Leon, Luana Lecomte, she Yolanda is coming back. That's for sure. Oh wow! Look at the gap now. Then, still showing no signs. One minute thirty-eight seconds to second place. That is. That is, uh, I'm speechless. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But I mean, I think we can expect that to get even bigger as well. It looks like because she's not showing any sign of slowing down. She seems completely in control. When you look at her body language, she's very, very composed. She's managing to keep the same pace on the climbs. And she is all the way back in 18. I say. Oh, big mistake from oh. Alessandra Keller there. She gets off the bike and. Then Haley Batten overtakes. Um, she had to go on the outside line, not to crash into Alessandra. But yeah, there you go. She uh, she's in front again. And this battle is just going from it's one just, to the other. It's just going to go on until the end. That's yeah. that's for sure. I don't think any of these riders is ready to give up. Well, we were expecting oh, yeah. a battle between Haley Batten and Alessandra Keller, but now we've got Yolanda Neff in the mix as well. Look at that. She's Look at three that. wide Parallel. around this corner. And what the, what are they oh. going to do? What are they going to do? Okay, so she does it, and yeah, Haley. Haley Batten now in in well in four position. But this is where she uh -huh. made the speed up. This is where this jumping prowess really Yolanda. helps Yolanda Neff come into her own. The, you can just see the speed difference she's carrying. She probably had to slow down or she would have maybe ridden into the back of Keller coming out of that turn. The exactly. exit speed. And she takes the inside line. Oh, wow. This is almost like wow. four cross racing here yeah, on the bottom yeah, half of this course. Yeah, yeah. And just look at this crowd here. They are really getting behind Ferran Provo, really trying to push her over the line here in France. This place is going to go seismic if she wins here, that's for sure. One lap left between her and World Championship glory. There we go. This is Yolanda Neff in second. Has she been able 
to put any time in. And you can see just how hard Hayley Batten is working there to hold on to that third place. And she's not going to give up easily. She is a fighter, Hayley Batten. What a dominant, dominant race from start to finish for Ferran Provo. This one will go down in the history book of cross-country mountain bike racing as one of the most dominant displays of athleticism. Here we go then. Look yeah, at this. She's going. She's going to cruise to victory here. Look at the smile. She wants to take the French crowd with her. High fives for the fans here. And she is going to be the 2022 Women's Elite World Champion. And not just that, she's going to do it in front of her home crowd in France.